Hi everyone, welcome to Study with Roma. This channel is created to help students, parents, or anyone interested to learn math. And this is episode 10. Today, we will talk about ratio. Definition of ratio. Three ways to write ratio. Uses of ratio. Part to part and part to whole. And reducing ratio to lowest term. Definition of ratio. Ratio is a comparison made between two sets of numbers. These are called terms. For example, there are nine girls and five boys in a class. The ratio of girls to boys is 9 is to 5. The ratio of boys to girls is 5 is to 9. There are three ways to write ratio. First, using a colon. 3 is to 10, 1 is to 2, 4 is to 5. Second, using the word 2. 3 is to 10, 1 is to 2, 4 is to 5. Third, using fraction. 3 over 10, 1 over 2, 4 over 5. Uses of ratio. Ratio can be used in recipes, cost of goods, distance versus time, hourly rate, and many more. For example, the recipe for a hot cake uses 2 cups of flour and 1 cup of milk. The ratio of flour to milk is 2 is to 1. For 4 hot cakes, what must be the ratio of flour to milk? The ratio of flour to milk will be 2 times 4 is to 1 times 4, which is equal to 8 is to 4. Therefore, to make 4 hot cakes, we will use 8 cups of flour and 4 cups of milk. Part to part and part to whole. For example, the ratio of stars to circles is 3 is to 2. The ratio of circles to stars is 2 is to 3. The ratio of stars to the whole is 3 is to 5. The ratio of circles to the whole is 2 is to 5. Another example the ratio of hearts to triangles is 5 is to 3. The ratio of triangles to hearts is 3 is to 5. The ratio of hearts to the whole is 5 is to 8. And the ratio of triangles to the whole is 3 is to 8. For the last part, Reducing ratio to lowest term. Ratios can be reduced without changing their relationship. 6 triangles is to 10 hearts can be reduced to 3 triangles is to 5 hearts. So, how do we reduce ratio to lowest term? Remember, Ratio is not in its lowest term if the first term and second term share a common factor, except 1. Let's have an example. 4 is to 6. 4 is the first term. 6 is the second term. The factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4. The factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3, and 6. Aside from 1, 
4 and 6 share a common factor, which is 2. So 4 is to 6 is not in its lowest term. In order to reduce the lowest term, divide both terms by 2. 4 divided by 2 is to 6 divided by 2, which is equal to 2 is to 3. The factors of 2 are 1 and 2, and the factors of 3 are 1 and 3. 2 and 3 share no other factor except 1. Therefore, 2 is to 3 is in its lowest term. Let's try another example. 4 is to 8. Do 4 and 8 share any factor other than 1? The factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4. The factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. 2 and 4 are common factors except 1. In this case, we will choose the greatest common factor, which is 4. Then, we will divide the first term and second term by 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is to 8 divided by 4, which is equal to 1 is to 2. The factors of 1 is only 1. The factors of 2 is 1 and 2. 1 and 2 share no other factor except 1. Therefore, 1 is to 2 is in its lowest term. 4 is to 8 will be reduced to 1 is to 2. Another example, 14 is to 18. The factors of 14 are 1, 2, 7, and 14. The factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Aside from 1, 14 and 18 share a common factor, which is 2. In order to reduce the lowest term, divide both terms by 2. So 14 divided by 2 is to 18 divided by 2, which is equal to 7 is to 9. The factors of 7 are 1 and 7. The factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9. 7 and 9 share no other factor except 1. Therefore, 7 is to 9 is in its lowest term. 14 is to 18 will be reduced to 7 is to 9. And that ends our discussion. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you next time. Bye!